funny how the story goes Little hope but bigger dreams uh, They try to bring the sucker down Singing louder than the crowd between Walmart pickup and Target. Um, sometimes shop right in Aldi. Just kind of depending on my mood and if I really feel like going food shopping, which I didn't feel like food shopping, so we're gonna pick it up. Um, I ordered it last night and our pickup time was between nine and 10. It's 9 a.m. on the dot right now. And it was ready at like 8.55, so it was perfect. So I just dropped Eliana off and we headed, we're headed. we heading right to Walmart now. So, um, <laughs> where's Red? There she is. Hi. Um, and my coffee this morning. So I try and do 16 hour fasts lately. So I usually fast from 8 to 12. But last night I cheated and had some ice cream late. Um, so I'm fasting from 2p to 10p to 2p today. And I read online, like I can't do black coffee and I also can't go without my coffee. So I read online that if you keep your coffee under 50 calories in the morning, it really shouldn't break your fast at all. Um, so or mess up the benefits of fasting so that's why you saw me measuring out my creamer because i wanted to make sure that i kept the creamer under 50 calories all right we are home from picking up um the groceries and it was pretty cool because they gave me this little goodie bag which was nice i like when they do that i have a really cranky three-year-old right now just so you know ray ready to just like Anyway, so they kind of just filled it with random stuff. Um, Cheez-Its, burritos, flaming Hot Nacho. I'm assuming it's like, I don't know, it's not new stuff because this isn't new. This is like seltzer water, the lime flavor, a thing of Skittles, a next one pack. This is like, I don't know, a game day book. There's no coupons in it except for Pop-Tarts. And then um, there was also a little pack of bite-sized Pop-Tarts, which was pretty cool. I gave that to Ray in the car. But I don't know, that was pretty cool that they did this. The last time they did this was when I first signed up for Walmart delivery or er, pickup. Anywho, I wanna show you really quick what I got. I didn't get much, so it's gonna be quick. Um, but I just picked up, I tried to get three meals for this week, so I'm gonna cook tonight. I'm gonna cook Thursday. I'm not gonna cook tomorrow because Kevin goes to the firehouse and Ellie has dance, so it's kind of just like nobody is really home. Like Kevin leaves like at dinner time. And then Friday we usually order out. Saturdays we'll usually order out or just do something quick and then I'll cook Sunday. So I'm cooking three meals this week. So I got this for Thursday. It's um, a really quick stir fry. You throw it in a skillet pan and it's a family size, so it feeds all of us. Um, and they're really, really good. The last one I did was like a chicken, cheese, and broccoli one. And everybody loved it. I think it had noodles in it too. They're really easy. I work overnight Wednesdays. And I don't sleep much Thursday because I have Ray home with me. So these are really easy for me to kind of just throw on the stove when I'm super exhausted. And everybody enjoys it. So we're going to make this. And um, I also bought, it's somewhere in here, two things of brown rice. Um, to, I know it has noodles in it. But just to kind of serve this over something else. So there's just a little bit more to our dinner i got garlic bread because we're gonna make a baked ziti dinner on sunday and then i got two marineras um i actually ordered a 24 ounce but they gave me a 45 because i didn't have the 24 ounce ones so i kind of made out there and then i picked up ooh, a bone broth because in my last vlog if you watched that i talked about some things that um a girl i found blog post named like six things that really help clear up bloating and acne and drinking a cup of warmed bone broth this is the chicken flavor a day really helps with that and of course um put coconut in your coffee water probiotics things like that there was a whole list of things and this was one of them so i'm going to give it a try i love drinking chicken broth after i eat soup so i'm kind of hoping it just tastes like that and she said she said she, do, she does like a coffee mug size warmed up every day whether it's with her dinner or her lunch or just 
randomly. So we'll give it a try because I'm desperate for anything at this point. My acne and my bloating are so, so bad. Then I got beef broth because I'm making chili tonight and it called for beef broth. Two cans of diced tomatoes also for my chili tonight. I'm gonna be honest, I hate when they tie them like this. Just leave them, you know, for real. I can't get this open, this is ridiculous. This is why, like, I hate this. Why, like, why, why? Mm. Okay. Then I just got a bag of shredded cheese also for my chili. I got ricotta cheese for um, my big ziti that I'm making and I actually got a 15 ounce one. They gave me 32 because they were out of the 15, so I made out again. And then um, ground turkey I got for um, my chili tonight. Like, it actually called for two pounds, but I only got one pound because I don't like chili that's like super meaty. All right, I'm gonna go to the bathroom really quick because I can't hold it any longer, and then we're gonna continue with this. All right, I relieved myself, and I'm ready to move on. Okay, so let me just get a sip of my coffee. Then I just got a um, super salad for when we have um, baked ziti on Sunday. So we'll have this garlic bread and the baked ziti. Then I just got a half gallon of 1% milk because I just opened a whole gallon. Um, I guess last week we didn't really drink that much milk so I only really needed a half gallon because I'll probably run out of that end of the week. <clears throat> and then I got mozzarella shredded cheese for my uh, baked ziti. And I got ground sausage also for my baked ziti. Then I got ziti for my baked ziti. I got Parmesan cheese for my baked ziti. This is the brown rice, just, just the Uncle Ben's um, 90 second rice. This is gonna be for the stir fry dinner that I'll make Thursday. Uh, ground coriander, uh, this is for the chili tonight. And then I had to get three eight ounce cans of tomato sauce for the chili tonight. Everything that I get, I always get Walmart brand if I can, or Target brand or ShopRite brand, wherever I'm going that day. Um, I never see a difference in the flavor. I mean, sometimes I'll see a difference in like chips maybe, but Walmart chips. All right, hold on. Walmart brand chips are banging. Like, I think they even have more flavor on them. Um, so, if I can, I try to um, get the store brands. Walmart brand is so cheap. Like, Walmart brand things are cheaper than Audi. So, if most of the things that I get are great value brand, then I will actually spend less at Walmart versus Audi's. So... Um, you know, I am a little bit picky about my meats. Usually I'll get name brand for my meats and like really inspect them because I've heard horror stories at Walmart about meats. But other than that, like I am not a name brand person. Like I literally, I don't care. It's I like, as long as I have food and I still have money in my bank account, we're good. Okay, then I had to be bad and just try the most stuff Oreos. Um, I couldn't find these at Target when I went last week, uh, but they had them at Walmart. When I was doing my, uh, on my app grocery shopping, I was like, what? We gotta get these. I didn't know Walmart had them. I thought it was only a shop or a Target thing for some reason. So, no, I shouldn't be eating these, but I just have to try it. Oreo is my favorite cookie, and when they came out with the most, I'm always getting the double stuff. But when they came out with the most stuff, I was like, what? So I can't have one yet, although I really do. I can't eat until two when it's only 10, but I really want one. So we're gonna just have to hide them. And then right now, this is Ellie's current favorite cereal. I didn't get it for her last week because it wasn't on sale. And I'm the kind of person who I only get cereal that's on sale because cereal is ridiculously priced. Um, and I'll usually get store brand, but they didn't have the chocolate in the Walmart brand. They did in the regular brand, but they didn't have it in the chocolate. Um, and they didn't have, I actually ordered the smaller size, but they didn't have the smaller size. So they gave me the family size for the price of the smaller size, which is a huge benefit with doing online ordering. Um, so she'll be happy that I got that. Then I had to get two, 
Don't worry, we're good. Okay. I had to get two onions. I just got the yellow onions. Um, one is for my big ZD and one is for the chili. And my camera's gonna die, so let me just replace this battery real good. All right. Then I just got two, ooh, I got the hiccups. Two yeah. apples because I haven't had, I uh, know, because I haven't gotten apples in a little while. Ray was asking. I want to get you a drink in a minute. And then I just got a loaf of bread. Of course, the great oh, value. Then yeah, with bread. And I just got a case of water and 12 rolls of the Scott. It's actually double, double rolls, so it's 24, they say. But it was like $3 for some reason. It was really cheap. And that's everything that I got, I think. So I'm going to get all this put away, especially the refrigerated stuff, because it's been out for a while. And then I'm gonna get my chili. Oh my gosh, the hang ups! <sighs> then I'm gonna get my chili going because it has to cook for six hours. I think Kevin. Kevin will be home a little bit after five. So all right, I just got done cooking. The chili is going. I will show you. A very picky children, of course, and I wanted to eat it. So all that I put in there was diced tomatoes, tomato sauce. Um, ground turkey, um, a little bit of like cut up pepperoni, but not much because I didn't really have much left. Uh, salt, pepper, paprika, uh, coriander, cumin, and I think that was it. And then sugar is also in there and cocoa powder is in there. I don't know. The recipe called for it. I don't know really what difference it makes if it adds flavor or not, but I added it because it said to. I do not do, um, cut up peppers or like sweet peppers or kidney beans i personally hate kidney beans and i know my kids won't eat it either so it's a very basic simple chili but it's great we top it with shredded cheese and sour cream and we eat it with a spoon or tortilla chips so it's really good but i'm gonna get rice some lunch it's 11 15 now and she's just always hungry um i will not be eating until two because my fast is in, um, is until two I'm actually still sipping on my coffee. I'm trying to make it last as long as I can so that I don't start getting so hungry that I start dry heaving because that happens to me. So I'm gonna make her her lunch. Let me tell you, it was really, really hard cooking dinner and not being able to like eat some of what I was cooking. That was really hard. My kids are outside right now, so I have a little bit of alone time. Um, and Kevin's not home yet. So I did get a Grove order in yesterday. Um, I didn't share it yesterday because I wasn't vlogging yesterday and I was kind of busy. So I wanted to share what it was in this order. I usually order from Grove every other month, usually depending on how much I order. So like if I just do a quick little order, I might have to order again the next month. But if I do like a full restock, then I usually will go two months without ordering. Um, which is nice about Grove because it, it's automatic shipments every month but if you don't need an order you just move your shipment and you won't get charged or anything so it's really convenient so i just want to show you what i placed for this month's order i didn't really get too much so i probably will have to order again next month we'll see um but i just want to show you what i did get all right now with grove um typically almost every month every time i order i get a free gift or a sample of something which is really cool and you pay $20 for a whole year. So I think I actually have to pay $20 soon, uh, but it's for the whole year and that's free shipping and everything you order is discounted. So things that are on Grove's website, you can find in store. I don't know if everything you can, but most things you can. But if you compare the prices, it's almost double if you get it in the store as compared to online. Um, so it's really cool. So anyway, I got one, two, three, four things this shipment, and I also got a sample. Of course, now my children want to come inside. So, two of these things, I, which is actually why I placed this order, I was watching Love Meg's shower routine video. I'll link it below. She is like my favorite. She's one of my favorite YouTubers. I love her videos. Um, she shared two products on there that were from Grove. The first product, and I used this last night because I wanted to kind of give it a little review today. So there's some like water in my packaging. I don't know if you can see that. But I wanted to keep the packaging and show you how it comes. It comes in this kind of a packaging. 
and it's called Preserve. So this is a razor and it has five blades on it. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. Yeah, no, not gonna work. But it has five blades on it, and they say that it is from recycled yogurt containers. So whatever, it's pretty cool that it, they used it um, from recycled things. But it is absolutely amazing. I got a very, very, very close shave last night. Meg claimed that her she can go longer in between shaves because of this razor. Now I can't vouch for that because it's only been a day. But I definitely got a closer shave. My legs felt seriously a lot smoother than they usually do. I'm not kidding you. This razor is amazing. Um, it does come with one, only one head, and you can buy more. It is a, it's not like a disposable razor. Just the heads are disposable. Okay, I'm going to try and not cut myself right now. Um, and Grove sells the replacement heads on their website. So go check this out. It comes in, I think, blue and this peachy pink color and it is good for both men and women um kevin will probably end up trying this razor i know he will and the other thing that she shared was the yes to coconut hydrating facial wash and it's like a stick so you twist the top off i also used this last night to give it a little review so it's a little wet and used looking but you just twist it up and it's like a rounded top and it smells so so good it reminds me of the beach and i just rub it on my face all over then put the cap back on, put it away, and then I use my hands and really rub it in and massage it in more, and then rinse it off. This is really, really good for dry skin. I don't have dry skin, but I have acne-prone skin. So I use um, medicated, prescribed acne medications, and they really dry my skin out. So because of those medications, my skin has been dry lately. I actually have oily skin. But this um, really helps with keeping my skin kind of balanced when I'm using those medications. And, you know, even with me having oily skin, I didn't feel like it made my skin more oily today. So I get like really dry like in here and around my um, mouth from the medication, medicated acne products. But my forehead, I don't use it on. And in my forehead still gets oily. And after using this last night, my forehead actually seemed less oily today. So um, I don't know if it says on here, but I would say... Oh, it does. It says for dry skin, but I would say seriously, even if you have oily skin, just give it a try. I had no problems with it um, in my oily area. Um, and it is made with coconut and coffee. It's the Yes to Coconut High Ultra Hydrating Energizing Coffee 2-in-1 Scrub and Cleanser Stick. So give this a try. I think it was like $10, but it should last like a really long time. So... Give it a try. Again, if you want to see it in action, you can go check out Love Meg's video because she actually used it in her video. And then we just needed like replacement sponges. So I actually got these as a free gift from Grove one month and I absolutely love them. I actually don't think I'll use another sponge except for these. It's like $3 for two, so it's not like they're any more expensive. Um, but it is the Walnut and Cellulose Scrubber Sponges. Just disposable. It comes in a two pack. Um, and ours really needs to be changed out. And then I needed more um, multi-surface cleaner. This is the Mrs. Myers one. I use this one the most. I've, I like the um, Method brand too, but I'm just obsessed with the Mrs. Myers um, scents. And I'm almost out of the holiday ones. I have a little bit of the pine left from Christmas. Um, so I stopped up one. I just got one and I just got the radish scent. I really wanted the peony or you know, the P-E-O-N-Y one. I don't know how you pronounce it, but they didn't have it. So I don't know if that was a seasonal one or not, but when that comes back out, I'm definitely getting that one. And the free gift this month was a sample of the new Rooted Beauty line. It's for sensitive skin. I got a facial cleanser and a daily moisturizer. So this is what came um, with my package to this time. Last time I got a full size body wash and loofah, which was pretty cool. Um, I really, really liked the um, body wash and the loofah was like awesome too. So anyway, I'm gonna have a link below with a coupon code so that you can check out Grove. If you are a first time shopper and you're just signing up, use my code and you will get five free products. Typically it's a, they change it up, but typically it's a disinfectant spray, the Mrs. Myers brand, you pick your scent, a dish soap at Mrs. Myers, um, a hand soap or a hand cream, sometimes both. Um, usually a free gift always is a free gift, but it, you never know what it's going to be. It won't, I don't think it'll be a sample. It's like an actual full size product that you get 
from them and I think like what I ordered I got a free caddy as well so it kind of it changes I ha I'll have more details below to check out down below um, you also get a free VIP trial for 60 days which is the free shipping and all of that and the um, all of the benefits that come along with being VIP uh, totally worth it after your 60 days you will be charged $20 but then it's $20 for one year one full year totally worth it for real um, if you want to go Grove you're not going back seriously you're not so definitely take advantage of that it'll be down in the description bar and or description box and make sure you go ahead and try some of these products um this actually this and my scrubbers are definitely going to be two of my favorites i'm going to do a favorites video and of course any of mrs myers sprays wow probably military all the scents are always awesome with uh, mrs myers i even got like a rain scent for the our downstairs bathroom like randomly i was like yeah let's just try this you know it's not like a bathroom scent, you know, it's for the hand soap down here. And I put it in there and Kevin comes out the one day and he was like, oh my gosh, that hand soap smells amazing. And I was like, it's called rain. <laughs> like it does smell amazing though. So you can't go wrong. If you've been iffy about trying Grove, now is the time Mom, to try it. I know. Mom, did you say loud? Uh, they, I heard them. They were loud. Close the door. It's cold out there. Just do it. It's. You know, it's totally, totally worth it. I was kind of iffy about it. I've been with Grove for like a year now. I should be paying for the year subscription again soon. And I do not regret it the slightest. And even if like you're having a month where you can't afford to get your cleaning products or the stock up on your cleaning products, you just move your shipment to a month that you can afford it. Um, but you will pay more on your cleaning products if you stock up in a store. I can guarantee it. So it is now the next day. I have to go to a meeting this morning for Ellie um, with her teacher. You got like coffee in my nose. Um, so I'm going to kind of chit chat with you while I'm getting ready for it because it'll be easier for me. Um, Ellie kind of struggles in school a lot. Um, I actually went into her classroom when the parents could sit in there and kind of observe the class. And she's in first grade, uh, but she's seven. She's actually probably the oldest one in her class. She should really be in second grade. But um, her birthday was at the cutoff. And she had previous teachers in preschool suggest that I wait and put her in later rather than early, which I'm so glad that I did. Um... I was watching the class and all the kids could read except for her like it was mortifying not because I was embarrassed as a mother but because I felt for her and I literally wanted to just start crying like the teacher called on her and she all I mean literally every other kid in the class even the ones that are supposed to be struggling alongside Ellie like they're in the same like group that gets extra help even those kids were reading completely fine um and then you know she called on Ellie and Ellie I could tell was just so nervous and so embarrassed and you know she was trying her hardest and she just couldn't do it and I seriously wanted to pull my eyes out like especially you know when you're a kid you know how that feels like when you, all your friends are reading or you know know what they're doing and you're just completely struggling and it got to the point now where homework is just tears usually the past week's been really really good actually no tears knock on wood but um it you know got to the point where she says that she hates school she doesn't want to go and blah 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 i'm like you're seven you're way too young for that so uh i have a meeting i had a meeting last year about this i have another meeting today um, I don't know if they're going to be testing her for ADHD. Uh, she does have a lot of signs and symptoms of ADHD. Uh, I mean, a lot. Um, like, they sent home a questionnaire of all the symptoms of ADHD and were asking me, does your child do this? Does your child do this? Does your child behave this way? Be behave this way? And the only, there was like 10 questions. Or no, there was probably like 15 questions and two of them. There were only two that Ellie did not relate to and they were anger. So she doesn't behave 
badly um, like hit, throw things, things like that. Um, and she doesn't like, you know, like she's not like disrespectful. Like she's not like, she doesn't curse at people, like tell people off, you know, like she's very respectable and she's kind and she's calm in that aspect. But when it comes to doing things and being told to do things and following direction, she either forgets or something will distract her, you know, it, and, and, and at first I thought it was intentional and I was kind of getting angry about it and didn't know how to handle her. And then I realized when school got worse and worse that it's not something she can control and I can see it now. Uh, and I can literally see that her brain is doing one thing and Ellie's trying to do something else and it's just like her brain and her body are just not connecting. And it's so hard to explain and I know a lot of ADHD people, her dad is, her dad has ADHD, so it runs in the family. Um, and I've never really seen it with him. Like, I've never looked at him and been like, I can see, I can actually physically see ADHD. Like, I would just see the symptoms of it and just get annoyed and mad about them. And with my own daughter, I can literally see the disconnection somewhere in there and it's just like the saddest thing ever so she's not been diagnosed adhd um they don't i don't know if they're gonna do it this year or wait till she's eight usually they wait till they're eight but lately they, i i have seen schools doing it earlier so i don't know what the plan is yet i'll find out today but i mean i kind of just want the test on and get a diagnosis so that we can move on that if it is ADHD, we can treat that and find a plan for that. And if it's not ADHD, we can move on and figure out what the issue is. Um, you know, if it's another intellectual disability or something or whatever. Because uh, right now, nothing's been done. She struggled all through kindergarten. She struggled. She's struggling half through, halfway through first grade now. And the previous plan isn't doing anything. I mean, she's been put in groups for math and reading and all these extra you know homework that she has she had to do tons and tons of at home school work over summer break like it's just never stops so and i feel so bad for her because she's just so young all right so i just kind of scrubbed in my dry shampoo so i'm just kind of getting ready for that right now i have to leave actually really soon so kind of rushing here uh, the tea tree shampoo I use is this uh, Not Your Mother's Plump for Joy stuff. This is the Orange Mango Bodybuilding Dry Shampoo. That's my go-to. All right, so I'm going to just start off with using uh, moisturizing cream. I'm not going to go through my makeup routine with you guys because this video is going to be long as it is because I have two hauls in it. But it's my skincare routine in the morning. I don't sleep with makeup on, so I'm not going to take that off or anything. I just put a moisturizer on. I have very acne prone skin. And this Glam, Glam Glow Water Burst uh, moisturizer is the only stuff that works for my skin. I don't know why it's not focusing. Kind of is, whatever. Um, without breaking it out and making it feel gross. But I do, that's like $45 I think. When I went out of that, I want to get the new Neutrogena Water one. It's literally, I think, the same thing. It even comes in a blue uh, container like that one. So I'm, I'm going to say Neutrogena was sort of trying to go for a dupe of that one by Glam Glow. So I am going to try the Neutrogena one when that one runs out. And then I just go in with a rose water, which is also uh, real good hydrating. This is the Garnier Soothing Facial Mist Rose Water. Nothing's going to focus, and I'm not going to try to focus it. And then before I put the makeup on primer that I use is the One Heck of a Blot by Soap and Glory. And I always put chapstick on before I begin. And then I'm going to start putting the makeup on. This foundation that I'm using is um, old. It's actually a shade that I picked out when I had a spray tan. So that's why I'm going like all the way down my neck so that you can't see the difference because 
I just don't feel like buying new uh, foundation right now. I wanted to use this stuff because it was actually really expensive. It was a high-end brand that I got when I had a spray tan, which I guess was kind of stupid, but usually I have self-tanner on. That's why I feel like I just got it, but I haven't done my self-tanner lately because I've been super lazy and just tired, and then I work overnight, so I'm definitely not putting self-tanner on after I get a shower from an overnight. I'm just like dead. what mascara I use to get my lashes nice and long. I naturally have long lashes, so I'm not gonna say that it's some miracle mascara that does it, but to emphasize them, I use the Voluminous Lash Paradise Primer, which is white. And then right after that, I put on the Voluminous um, Lash Paradise Regular Mascara in the blackest black that I can get. Now, around Christmas time, these were being sold as a pair together for a discount. I don't know if they still have those sets or not, but they sell this and this separate anyways, just buy both. But this is the best. Um, I found out about this awesome trio from Kristen Casper on her Instagram, and I've been using it since probably end of November, beginning of December now, and I don't think I'll use anything else. I even have a backup waiting for me still. Uh, brand new mascara one. I just got to get a backup of the um, primer still. But that's what I use to get my lashes nice and pretty and full looking. Right now the lighting is probably not helping make them look nice because of the lighting is so bright. Alright, I'm just going to clean up here and I'm going to drop Raylan off at my friend's house. They live right behind us which is nice and the school is like a street away too. So I don't really have far to go. And when I get back from our meeting i'm not doing anything with my hair i'm just kind of i want to get the grease out of it i'm actually cutting my hair because i just want all this nastiness off to like probably right below my collarbone and i'm going to get some layers put in it and stuff it's going to look really pretty what time is it it's probably like the time for you to go okay that was her let me know she's home but it'll kind of be like i don't know kind of like that length maybe but I'll have like pretty layers in it and I'm going to get that new Revlon, the uh, blow dryer that's like a brush and you kind of blow, you blow it out and it's a blow dryer. You know what I'm talking about. I know you know. It's been all over social media. But I'm going to get that because that'll work really, really good um, with the style that I'm looking to go for. But anyway, I will update you on what her teacher said and what's going on as soon as the meeting is over um, when I get home. All right, so I'm sitting home now. I just finished eating. I just had some leftover chili from last night, which was delicious. Uh, but I'm watching The Punisher right now because me and Kevin watch this together every night. There's two episodes or two seasons on Netflix, and um, we always watch it together. But I usually fall asleep at night, or he'll fall asleep. So the next day, I gotta catch up. So I have an episode and a half to catch up on because I fell asleep last night, and he continued watching it until he got tired. So I'm gonna catch up. This is, I'm on episode 11. Um, so we have two more episodes to watch till it's all over because it's the season two that we're on. But if you don't watch The Punisher, you need to go start watching it. It is freaking awesome. It kind of is like a spinoff, I guess you could say, of the movie, but it has nothing to do with the movie. It's the same kind of storyline, but nothing to do with the movie, um, different characters and all that. So and I'm assuming, I believe Netflix put this one out. This is a Netflix original. So, but anywho, I wanted to fill you in really quickly as I continue rambling about Ellie's uh, uh, meeting that I had today. Um, they didn't really, they're not really doing much again. Um, they didn't talk too much about any ADHD or things like that. More so, they're trying to switch up her academic plan, kind of strategize together. Um, it was like a six six or so people in the room including her teacher and the counselor um and just kind of figure out a plan that's going to work best with her 
intellectual issues. Um, you know, she is very, very behind for her grade. She's reading at a C level. She should be reading at a D level or higher. So our goal right now is to kind of get her on a D reading level by March. And if that does not happen, I am assuming we're going to take the next steps, whether that is the ADHD testing or diff or just testing in general to see what's going on. Uh, when like the real reason why she's just not getting this so they have me set up with some things to do at home with her when we can and uh, She'll be getting some more help. I believe in school more one-on-one -on -one help to see if that helps but they did say they did see an increase in her effort uh, Probably in the past two weeks, which I have seen that too with her homework homework's been a lot easier lately, but she is really struggling and they were saying, you know, they feel bad because they can see that she wants it. She really does want it and she just can't get it. And I feel so bad because she has friends that read chapter books and she wants to be able to read those chapter books and she can't. And, um, and this might sound bad to some people, but I want to get her a cell phone at a pretty young age, like eight or nine. Um, because she goes with her dad and they go so far away, I just really want to be able to have... A way to get in touch with her whenever I want to when she's with her dad and you know I need her to be pretty advanced with her reading and spelling so that we can communicate through text message and you know just so that she can navigate through the phone um, you know she has friends that are younger than her like a whole year younger than her and they're reading chapter books and that's really upsetting and I know it's frustrating for her and upsetting for her so we really got to get this nipped in the butt. Um, I'm going to try and set. She's, she does well with like positive reinforcement. So like when she's getting something in return almost. Uh, which could be a good or bad thing. But it's what works. So you know with us getting this dog. Uh, probably the beginning of March. End of February. I want to kind of use that to her. Or to my advantage with this whole reading thing. And, you know, just kind of tell her that we're getting this new dog and, you know, she needs to learn how to read so that maybe she can read to the dog or, you know, I don't know. I kind of kind of figure out how to work the dog into it because she really wants this dog. And I don't want to say to her, we're not getting the dog if you don't learn how to read. Like, I don't want to really bring it to that extent, but maybe somewhere, I don't know. I got to still figure it out, but... They are giving her till March, and then I believe we'll take the next steps from there. I don't know if we're going to have another meeting or what. They can't hold her back because she's already a year behind, and I will not allow her to be held back again. It's not going to happen. That's embarrassing. Like, could you imagine being in a class and you're two years older than everybody in your class? That's horrible. Um, so I don't know if they would even consider that, but I would never allow that. Never. So we'll see, um, but that's all that I got for now. I kind of still have a lot of... Um, unanswered questions because I felt like they kind of rushed through it a little bit but you know I guess this is just the first step for this year last year was a whole different year so I guess they're not really stemming off of last year at all and, that, and that's fine um you know as long as we're going to kind of figure it out more before this year's over I mean I don't know I don't know why they're not kind of considering other things could be causing it I'm not sure um because to me it's pretty it's pretty severe that she's the oldest in her class and having these problems, you know, it's not like she's the youngest and having these problems, you know, but I don't know. We'll see, but I'm going to wrap this up now. I'm going to finish watching the Punisher. Kevin's on his way home because he was working on a roof today and the roof is like frozen because it's so cold out. So they're sending everybody home because they really can't do work when the roof's like that. So, uh, yeah, so Thank you so much for watching and I will continue to update about Eliana for those of you that are interested, family and friends or whatever that watch and um, you know, just kind of, you know, I don't know, we'll see. But thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. We're Bye guys. through the night like we're from a different star, flying over streets and our broken hearts. But they can even touch us, we found a different beat. Paradise is waiting and we bought the leaves Oh, getting caught in the mist is a minute that never get